Hey guys, we're going to do some uh, geometry today. This is uh, pretty simple, but it's interesting how this works. It's just another weird and to me fascinating facts of geometry. I mean, I, this is this seems so logical and ordered. It's just a uh, to me, it's just another proof of uh, God's creation and uh, order in the universe. So let's a couple of things first. Um, let's define uh, a couple of terms here. A secant. Let's, in other words, this is a circle. Well, anyway. This, uh, a secant is a line uh, that cuts across a circle exactly two points. Um, the the uh, line segment, like in other words, from here to here, you know, and from like this point to that point, that's called a chord. Uh, if you have a chord <clears throat> in a circle that goes like right through the diameter, uh, excuse me, the, the center of the circle, that's called a diameter. A tangent is a, a line that touches a circle exactly one time. Uh, an arc, you know what arcs are, just outside uh, parts of the uh, curve of the circle. A minor arc, a major arc, we'll talk about those in a second. Uh, an angle, let's talk about the two types of angles. Here is a circle, all right? Uh, a central angle, we have messed with these before. Um, and let's say this is a, you know, I don't know, 40 degree angle. Well then, what's gonna happen is right here, this arc will also be 40 degrees out of the 360 degrees of the circle, if the vertex is the center. Now, a, an inscribed angle, don't forget. Well, you know what, forget that, I'm just gonna use this one. An inscribed angle will be an angle like this, where the vertex, uh, don't pay attention to that line outside. In other words, this is the, ver oops, this is the vertex right here. And you can see, even in this angle, it's still, you know, cuts across 40 degrees of the arc, but you can tell by looking at this, this is gonna be less than this. Well, in fact, it is exactly half of that. So you can kind of manipulate those facts to uh, find out angles and find out arcs of circles and that kind of thing. So um, two things you need to just memorize, and you write them however you want. You can copy this down if you want to. In fact, you can just look at this uh, example we're gonna do here in just a second. So. If lines intersect inside a circle, okay, if two of these lines, now the line segments are just called chords, if they intersect inside a circle, the angle measures are the average of the intercepted arc measures. That seems like a mouthful, but in other words, here it is. You got two lines. They intersect inside a circle. Okay, We can figure out these uh, angle measures by knowing how much of an arc that these uh, intercept. Like in other words, this is 80 degree arc. This is a 40 degree arc. Uh, you can figure out that the, you know, these uh, lines, or excuse me, the angles here are going to be the average of the 80 degree arc and the 40 degree arc that are intercepted. In other words, you're going to take 40 plus 80 divided by 2. That's what you're going to do. Okay, so 40 plus 80 is 120 over two is 60. Or you could just look at the 40 degrees of the arc and look at the 80 degree of the arc and go, what's right in the middle? 60, there you go. So if they intersect inside, you take the average. In other words, you add them, you divide by two, all right? The second thing, if they intersect outside of the circle, look at those two lines. You see those two lines, they're intersecting outside the circle. Then the angle measure is not I mean, you don't add 40 and 80 then divide by 2 this time. What you do is you do uh, 80 minus 40 and divide by 2. So in other words, if they're inside the circle, you go 80 plus 40 divided by 2. In other words, the average. Okay. If they intersect outside the circle, you go 80, not plus 40, 80 minus 40 and then divide by 2. And of course, 80 minus 40 is 40, of course and divide by two is 20 degrees. So in other words, this X is going to be 20 degrees. And a lot of times, by the way, especially if you're doing SAT, stuff like this, you can go, you know, uh, they have a choice, A, B, C, or D. You can look at the angle measure and go, even if you go, ah, my brain froze, I forgot the geometry. Well, look at that, look at that X. What does that look like to you? I mean, you know, this is 90, right? I mean, that would be like 45, somewhere around there, okay? Somewhere that little, you know, half-ish of 45. There you go. Okay. All right. So let's do a couple of these. All right. 
Well, you tell me, do these angles intersect outside or inside? Obviously inside, okay? So what we'll do is we'll go, okay, 120 degrees minus 60. In other words, from this line is, is called a tangent to this circle right here because it hits it right in one place. So from this blue dot to that blue dot, that's 120 degrees. In other words, a third of the circle. <clears throat> this is a 60 degree arc. You don't have to know, you know, percents and all that kind of thing. All you need to know is those two lines intersect outside the circle. So you take the 120, you subtract 60, and you divide by 2. So that's going to be 60 divided by 2, which is 30. There you go. 30 degrees, each one of those x. Okay? This one, again, you know, they intersect out, outside the circle. Uh, you know, there's the, the, the 260 degree arc from here to here. This is 100 degree <coughs> from here to here. All right? So again, let's just pretend you, had, you completely forgot the geometry, totally forgot. What do you think those, the measure of that angle x is? Give me a guess. Somewhere around what? Okay. I mean, you know, this is 90. There's your 90 degree angle, right? If it's that. It's not, but, you know, that's pretty close. So you should have guessed at least close to that. Okay. Well, the answer is, again, they intersect outside. So you take 260 minus 100, which is, of course, 160, and you divide by 2, which is 80 degrees. And there you go, which was probably what you guessed or somewhere close to that. Okay. All right. Try the practice set. Pause it and give it a whirl. All right, we'll do this one first. <clears throat> These intersect inside the circle, so you can look at 80 and 60 and go, okay, what's the average? What's right in the middle of 80 and 60? The answer is 70. Or you can go, okay, intersect inside, 80 plus 60 divided by 2. That's 140 divided by 2, 70 degrees. There you go. Okay. All right. Okay, let's try this one here. Next. And these intersect outside the circle, so this time you're going to go 80 minus 60, divide by 2. And that is 20. Divided by 2 is 10. 10 degree angle. Boom, there we go. All right. Next one. These intersect outside the circle, so again, you're going to go 70 minus 20 divided by 2. So 70 minus 20 is 50 divided by 2, 25 degrees. Okay, and there you go. Last one, you know, I, I, again, they intersect outside here. So we have 280 minus 80 and then divided by 2. By the way, look at this angle. Here's a 90 degree angle, right? I mean, you could probably guess it's a little more than 90 degrees, right? Okay. So 280 minus 80 is 200. Divided by 2, obviously 100 degrees. There you go. Okay. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Have a good day with it.